now that we are done with the GPIO header file and source file, let us go directly into the USART program. So we will open the includes directory and go to the USART header file that we created. The first thing that we want to do here is to include the base header file. And the reason is that the base header file contains the USAR2 peripheral. You can check it out. When we look at, you can see the USAR2 peripheral here. So out of the USAR2 peripheral, we will get all the registers, all the USAR registers. Okay, go back to the USAR header file we are going to select few registers that we will need we will need a couple of them we will need the usart control register we will need the board read register we will need the isr register that is the interrupt state we will need the receiver data register and the transmit data register a few of them let's start let us start by um, opening up our reference manual and search for USART registers. Okay, now when we search for USART registers, these are the USART registers. There's a couple of them. First, we are interested in this one. Okay, so let's copy this and search for the control register. Let's see. It is a 32 bit register, and from here we are mostly interested in this one. You can see this bit zero. Let's look at what bit zero is. Okay, USART enable. Yeah, so we we need to get this bit if we want to enable the USART. Also, because we will be transmitting and receiving data, we need to get bit 2 and bit 3. So bit 2 is receiver enable and bit 3 is the transmitter enable. So once we set these bits, it means that we'll be able to read or transmit register. Alright, just like we did for the GPIO registers. Let us do the same for this. So the control register has an offset of 0x00 USAR CR1. So go back to the IDE and let us define USAR2 CR1. We will define the offset first. And this one has an offset of 0x00. Oops, let's make it small. Okay. Once we have the offset, we can go ahead and define the register. Use out to CR1. As with all registers, you reference it, you bring your bracket, then we write volatile unsigned int because we are addressing a memory location then inside here what we need is the user to peripheral we can go ahead and and um, we go to the base header file instead and we copy this user to peripheral copy it and go back to user header file okay so we can paste it here then we will add it to usart to cr1 offset great job we have our first register the next register that we are interested in is the board rate register so we go back to the reference manual and um, and let's find the board rate yeah this is our board rate register right here so we will copy it and search for for that board rate 
let's see go through all right this is the board re register it has an offset of 0x0c so we can copy the offset and go back to the IDE in here we will define user 2 PRR offset and the offset we've copied so we can paste it now we go ahead and define the register itself user 2 peripheral plus user 2 PRR offset the next register that we will need is the ISR interrupt state now the interrupt state will help us to know if um, let's say a data is ready in the receive data register or even when we are transmitting we will check if the TDR that is transmit data register is empty to transmit okay so go back to the reference manual okay All right, so we have the use out interrupt and status register. We will copy this and search for it. Okay, and the ISR is a 32 bit register. Now, the ISR is of two types. Um, this is not what we need. Let's look at the other one okay now this is what we need um, we need this one they have the same offset so depending on um, depending on the bits you want to address you choose a particular one now here we are interested in the bit 5 and bit 7 let's look at let's look at it okay now bit 7 is transmit data re register empty so as I was saying, before we can transmit data, we need to do a while loop and see if this is empty. And the bit five is no bit five is here. Is the read data register not empty? Okay. So before we can read, we need to make sure. So we are interested in bit five and bit seven. But first of all, let's get the register. We will copy the offset. Define user to um, ISR offset. Okay, and we paste paste it. Now we define user to ISR and user to peripheral plus user to isr offset the other two register that we need is the receive data register and the transmit data register since we said from the isr we need bit 5 and bit 7 let's define it straight away um, so we can call it isr so r x n e and also let's define ISR TXE as a bit seven. Okay, we can put U here to make sure it's unsigned. That is a positive integer. Now before we get the next registers, let's go back to the control register and find the base that let's define the base that we need. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this is control register one, the one we've gotten, and we are interested in bit zero, bit two, and bit three. Let's go ahead and define those. So we see R1, UE, and that is the bit zero, right? That is bit zero. We define also 
CR1 um, RE B2 and we will define CR1 TE and that is bit 3 all right so we need this for the CR that is the control register we need it for the interstate register all right now the next two register that we will need is the receive data register so go back to the reference manual find the receive data register all right right here so we have the usart rdr okay so we copy the offset as usual go back to the ide and let us define usart to rdr offset and um just paste the offset then we define the register use out peripheral plus offset the next register which is the last that we need is the transmit data register so quickly go back to the reference manual and is right beneath the rdr it has an offset of 0x28 we copied that and go back to IDE and let's do justice to it you shall to TD TDR offset we paste our offset and we create the register TDR offset all right we have five registers so the next thing that we will do as we did for the gpio is to define um, or forward declare our functions so i'll just say function prototypes right okay now to the function prototypes the first function that we want to declare will be void usart user to write okay we are going to write and it will be void the next one your guess is as right as mine user to read easy read the next function that we need to also declare will be setting the board rate um, set board rate and the set board rate we need to pass we need to pass the peripheral clock right peripheral clock we need to pass it a peripheral clock and also we need to pass board rate variable now they are they are supposed to be um u in 32 type um board rate but most importantly we have to we have to declare the function to initialize the usart right so we can go usart to init okay and this will always be void inside your usart header file we have these registers and these um, functions that we have declared before we leave here let us go ahead and include and because we are using some numbers we can go ahead and include um, std int dot h right yes it um it wouldn't hurt anyone once we are done here we can move to the usart.c source file and write the definitions of all our functions and use the um, enables let's call this 
let's call this enable bits okay 